Okay, welcome back. So, for this video, uh, na-discuss na natin previously itong first three parts, uh, which is the basic para sa pag-identify ng shear and moment in beams. So, ngayon is, gagawin natin is to apply yung mga napag-aralan natin on the first video sa practical example or real life situation. Okay? So, for this video, we will be having two examples with different loading condition para malaman natin kung paano sinosolve yung uh, given na procedures dito. Okay? So, let's have the first example. So, example 1. So, let's say that we have a simple supported beam na nagkakarry ng two concentrated loads. So, ito yung load na sinasabi niya. Concentrated, ibig sabihin, may particular points siyang naka-apply. Okay, so dito, yung first concentrated, so concentrated load natin na 14 kN is applied 2 meters from the left support, from A. Okay, then dito, yung next na uh, concentrated load natin is 28 kN which is applied 5 meters from the left support or 3 meters from the first concentrated load. Okay, or 2 meters from the right support. Okay, pinapanap sa atin is to derive the expression for the shear force and bending moment for each segment, each segment ng beam. So, ilang segment ba may meron tayo? So, yung segment, pag-identify ng segment will base from your, the applied loads. Okay, so kung ilan yung naka-applied na load, ah, dapat yun yung per segment nyo. So, from, ano ba, from support, from applied load, ito yung first segment natin. Kaya ang tawag natin dito ay segment AB. Okay? So, ito yung point niya. And dito, may load tayo dito. Then may load tayo dito. So, ito is a segment BC. Okay? And again, load dito. May load dito. So, ito ay si segment CD. Okay? So, all in all, we have three segments. So, ang gustong pahanap sa atin sa number 1 is to identify yung uh, equation para sa shear force and bending moment. Para dun sa tatlong segment. Okay? Then, yung last, number 2 is i-draw yung shear force and bending moment diagram. Yung given beam natin. Okay? So, sabi nag-let down natin yung weight of beam. Yung weight ng beam kasi, uh, kung halimbawa, kukonsider natin yung weight ng beam, yun is uniformly distributed dun sa buong cross section niya. So, ibig sabihin, uh, may loading tayong naka-apply sa kanya. Pero since usually ang weight ng beam is very small with uh, compared dun sa mismong applied load natin. Kaya usually nine-neglect yung weight ng beam. Pero kung halimbawa hindi naka-specify sa problem na kailangan in-neglect or nagbigay ng cross section ng beam tapos nagbigay din ng uh, ng weight ng material so you have to get the weight of the beam then add it on the applied load okay then sabi dito for simplicity ng problem the support reaction at A and D have been computed okay so may value na yung A and D pero originally dapat walang value yan dapat kayo magko-compute yan so as a practice kailangan ipakita nyo, kunin nyo kung paano nakuha yung 18 at yung 24 using yung loading condition na to. So, ang gagawin mo lang naman is, submission of forces, uh, vertical lang kayo, then mag-moment kayo sa isang point para makuha yung values na to. Okay? Hey, okay. So, let's start. So, ang gagawin ko is, i-rewrite ko lang yung problem in a separate sheet para mas uh, mas ma-solve natin ng maayos, no? So drawing ko lang. So we have an a hinge tapos meron tayong rollers uh, sa isang side. Okay? Tapos meron tayong naka-apply na 14 kN, then 28 kN. Okay? So yung pangalan ng each point to ay si A, si B, si C, at si D. And then, yung distances natin, dito ko na lang alagay. Okay. 
Okay, so we have 2 meters, 3 meters, and 2 meters. Okay, so ang given sa atin, meron tayong uh, value na ng reaction at A na 18 kilonewtons. And reaction at D na 24 kilonewtons. Okay, so ngayon is, kukunin natin yung um, expression by each segment. Okay. So, by segment tayo. So, mer oh, again, meron tayong all in all tatlong segment. So, alisin ko na itong ng ta. Okay. So, ito yung problem number one natin. No? Okay. So, dito, balik tayo natin yung procedure na diniscuss natin noong previous video. Yung una, compute natin yung support reaction. So, for this problem, computed na yung support reaction. Pero again, as a, pra a practice, please, please compute these values. Okay. Next is to divide the beam into segments so that the loading within each segment is continuous. Okay? So, the divide natin. So, lagyan ako ng cutting plane. Okay. Lagyan natin ng cutting plane. So, ito is para kay segment AB, segment BC, tsaka segment CD. Okay. Okay na tayo sa first two step. Number three, yan, yung cutting plane within the segment. Okay. So, consider muna natin sa segment A. Since mara tayong tatlong uh, condition dito, i-repeat natin tong procedures na to ng tatlong beses. This means by each segment. Okay? So, segment AB muna tayo. Segment AB. Okay? So, segment AB, pag nag-introduce na tayo ng cutting plane na to, so, introduce tayo ng imaginary cutting plane na yun, then, kunin natin yung uh, isang song part nung cutting plane. So, consider ko is yung left side lang. Okay. So, ito yung point A. Pupunta doon sa cutting plane. Ito yung cutting plane natin. So, ito. May reaction siya dito. RA. Na ang value is 18 kN. Okay. So, yung sabi sa kanya. Pag nakuha mo na yung imaginary cutting plane. Yung distance niya from the left end of the beam is X. So, ibig sabihin. Dito, papunta doon, distance niya ay x. Okay. Then, after that, um, at the cut section, show V and M act in their positive direction. Okay. So, yung positive direction ni V at M. So, since dito yung positive direction natin, again, dito sa drawing natin, dito tayo nagkamero ng cut. So, yung positive direction natin ay ito. So, pababa dapat yung dito nag act na yung B na nag act sa kanya ipababa. Then, dito, ito yung side na nakat natin. So, dapat uh, clockwise direction tayo. Counterclockwise, sorry. Okay. Okay. Next, determine natin yung expression by using equilibrium equation. Okay. So, yan. so, ito na yung free body diagram natin for segment AB. So, by using equilibrium equation, so we have summation of forces. Uh, yung horizontal, ineglect ko na kasi hindi percent dun sa free body diagram natin. So, sa vertical na tayo, y is equals to 0, taking upward forces as positive. So, yung upward forces natin dito is yung RA tsaka yung V. Uh, yes, uh, hindi pala vertical forces. I mean. So, RA minus V is equals to 0. So, ibig sabihin, yung shear force natin will be equals to RA. Ito yung pag tinranspose sa kabilang side of the equation. So, ang V natin will be equals to 18 kilo newtons. Okay? So, ito yung value para dun sa segment AB ng shear force natin. Okay? Next is yung summation of moment is equals to 0. Taking counterclockwise as positive. So again, kailangan mo mag-moment kung nasa yung cutting plane. So, si RA, pag minoment natin, 
So, ginikot natin papunta doon. Direction niya is clockwise. So, dapat negative RA times anong distance doon? X. Okay. Then, CB is walang moment kasi nandun sa point na yun. Pero, merong applied moment na M doon na naka-counterclockwise. So, plus M is equals to 0. Kailangan natin yung value ni M. So, transpose natin yung value ni RA X sa kabila. So, M is equals to RA X or M is equals to value ni RA is 18 kN times X or M is equals to 18X. Tapos, ang magiging unit dapat nito is kN meter kasi moment yung pinag-usapan natin. Okay? Okay. So, ito yung para sa segment AB. Okay? So, again, yung itong 6 liter ko Pag nakompleto natin yung lahat ng segment, tsaka natin kunin itong number 6. Okay. Next is segment BC. Segment BC. Okay. Sa pag-consider ng succeeding segment, kailangan, consider mo pa din yung from the first support. So, ibig sabihin, from the uh, leftmost support, kailangan kasama siya sa free body diagram. Nagiging segment BC lang consideration natin kasi yung mga compute natin value ng, uh, ng shear sa kanang moment is only applicable dun sa segment BC. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng values na mga compute natin dun sa uh, pwede natin makompute dito sa segment na to, applicable siya sa B at B to C lang, dito lang, dito lang na force. As di ba kung mapapansin nyo yun, may mga nakukuha nating values dito is in, term, in terms siya ng formula. So, ito, naka may value na siya directly. So, walang problema dito. Pero ito is um, naka first degree to. So, ibig sabihin, linear itong moment na to. So, ibig sabihin, pwede tayo mag-substitute ng any value ng x. x is yung distance. Okay. Kahit ano kay A to B para malaman natin yung moment. So kung halimbawa gusto natin malaman yung moment, value ng moment sa segment AB kapag halimbawa ang distance natin ay 0.5. Pag 0.5 lang yung distance natin, hindi alam natin na 18 times 0.5 ang nag-aak na moment sa kanya ay 9 kNm. Okay? So yun yung purpose ng distance na yun. So para kay segment BC, ganyan kailangan i-drawing natin siya from the leftmost support. Hmm. So ito yung si A And Ito Yung cutting plane natin Tapos isama ko si B Ito yung 14 kN And ito yung RA natin Okay, ang value ni RA is 18 kN Okay So yung distance ng Pinaka uh, Support Papunta dun sa Cut Cut, cutting plane natin or se cutted section natin is x kasi alam natin ito mula dun sa figure natin dito na ang distance niya ay 2 meters to ok 2 meters to so ibig sabihin kung 2 meters to tapos x yung total distance ang distance nitong nandito sa loob ay x minus 2 meters ok Ba't kailangan natin lagyan ng distance na gano'n? Kasi, pagkuha natin ng moment, kailangan natin ng formula. O, ito yung distance na itatravel ni uh, 14 kN papunta dito sa cutting plane natin. Okay? Then, again, papakita natin yung positive internal forces dito sa cut section natin. Meron tayong B. Then, M. Okay. Then, equilibrium forces tayo. So, summation of forces. Y is equals to 0. Again, wala pa din horizontal force dyan. So, neglected na yung summation of forces horizontal. Then, taking upward as positive. Okay. So, ano yung mga forces natin? So, si RA is upward. Si 14 is, is downward. So, negative 14 kN. Si B is Downward, so negative B is equals to 0. So, kailangan natin yung value ni V. Transpose lang natin si V. 
gumagayitong Ra minus 14 kN. Substitute natin value ni Ra which is 18 kN minus 14 kN V is equals to 4 kN. Okay? So, yun ito yung value ng shear. And para sa moment, summation of moment is equals to 0. Okay? Taking counterclockwise as positive ulit. So, lahat ng forces natin, i-moment natin papunta kay cutting plane. Okay? So, si Ra, again, direction niya ay clockwise. So, negative. Negative Ra, tapos travel niya ay x. Tapos si 14, pababa siya. So, yung ikot niya is counterclockwise. So, positive 14 uh, kilonewton. And yung distance na tinabil niya ay, again, ito. Kaya mas importante yan. X minus 2. Okay? Then, plus, si V is 0. So, si moment, si M, na counterclockwise, positive din. So, M is equal to 0. So, kailangan natin yung value ni M. So, transpose natin yung dalawang term na nauna. So, M is equal to RAX minus uh, 14 uh, tanggalin ko muna yung unit x minus 2 ok then substitute yung values so we have 18 x minus distribute 14 x plus 28 simplify so m is equal to 4 x plus 28 so ito yung uh, magiging value nung moment natin para sa segment b c so, ibig sabihin, anywhere from the distance 3, uh, 3 papunta sa 5. Okay? Kasi ito ay uh, uh, from 2 to 5 pala. Okay? Okay. Last segment, CD. Okay? Drawing natin yung free body line. Kailangan? So, meron tayong applied KB. A, K, KA is meron tayong RA. Okay, na 18 kilonewtons. Then, 14 kilonewtons dito. Then, meron tayong KC na 28 kilonewtons. Okay. So, yung distance ni RA papunta kay cutting plane again is X. Then, itong distances ng ABC mula dito sa figure. Ano tayong 2 meters, 3 meters. So, anong dapat value nito? So, ang 2 plus 3, matitira ay x minus 5. Okay? Then, yung internal force natin dito sa cut na plane, yung positive direction natin, b tsaka m. Okay? Then, yun na. Pwede na tayong mag-perform uh, ng summation forces okay ang isa lang dito palang napansin ko is kailangan din yung 14 pala kailangan natin lagay ng distance papunta doon okay so yung distance ng 14 pag nag ano tayo nag moment tayo so pwede 3 plus x minus 5 pwede yun or gawin natin x minus 2 kasi yun yung natitira same lang yun okay and we can now write some uh, forces natin. Submission of forces, vertical is equal to zero. Taking upward as positive. We have Ra minus yung 14 kilonewtons minus yung 28 kilonewtons. And minus yung V natin is equal to zero. Kailan natin si V. So V is equal to Ra. Uh, okay. Minus 14 tsaka 28 is 42. Okay? So, 42 kilonewtons. Okay? So, substitute natin yung value ni RA. RA is 18 kilonewton minus 42 kilonewton. So, ilan yung magiging value ng shear natin. Okay? So, try natin gamitin yung calcube. Kaka, sayang naman. 
So we have negative 24 kilo newton. Okay. So ito yung value ng shear natin. And next is yung moment. So summation of moment is equal to 0. Taking Making counterclockwise as positive. Okay. So, si RA will be negative. RAX uh, plus 14 times X minus 2 plus 28 times X minus 5 six, uh, plus M is equal to 0. Then, simplify. Kailangan ilipat natin lahat sa other side of the equation para ma-maintain si M equals to RAX minus 14 x minus 2 minus 28 x minus 5 then simplify natin m is equal to 18 x minus 14 x plus 28 minus 28 x plus 28 times 5 is 140 okay so m is equal to uh, combine natin yung like term so yung Doon tayo sa may x. So, 18 minus 14 minus 28 is negative 24x. Then, yung uh, constant natin. So, 28 plus 140. So, plus 168. Okay. Kilo meter. So, ito yung value ng moment para kay segment CD. Okay. Okay. So, yun yung para sa original question natin. Okay? So, number one. So, yan yung mga expression para sa shear force and bending moment. Okay? So, ito yung anim na yun. Expression na yun. Okay? Next is, sabi is, kailangan i-draw natin yung shear, shear force and bending moment diagram. Okay? So, pag-draw ng shear force and bending moment diagram, so, kaya nilagyan ko ng space dito, dito natin siya incorporate. So, gawin nyo from the given um, example, uh, i-draw nyo kada loading condition, mag-draw kayo ng vertical line, katapat lang nya. So, so freehand ko lang din yung okay. nya. So, lahat ng may loading condition. Okay. Then, yung first graph natin, yung... Um, First graph natin will correspond dun sa shear natin. So, value ng shear natin. Okay? So, after nung beam natin, shear yung drawing natin dito. Yung drawing natin dito manggagaling dun sa equations na nakuha natin. Okay? So, tingnan natin. So, kapag segment AB pinag-usapan natin, so, shear tayo. So, lahat, ibig sabihin, it, ang segment AB natin is lahat ng value na 0, Less than or equal to x. Tapos, uh, less than equal to uh, to 2. Okay? Okay? Then ito, itong 2, less than equal x, then less than equal 5. Ito is uh, 5 less than equal x less than equal 7. Okay? So, yung distance na yan, nilagay ko lang kung ano yung distance ng mga segment na to mula dun sa left side. So, from 0 to 2, yun yung AB. From 2 to 5, yun yung BC. Okay? From 5 to 7, yun yung CD. So, paano kunin yung shear? So, tinan nyo lahat ng value ng B. Okay? So, sabi, pag 0 yung location natin, ibig sabihin dito, ito yung 0 natin, 18 daw yung value. Okay? So, 18. So, positive pataas, negative pababa. So, natin, 18. Okay? So, yun yung 18. Okay? So, pagdating daw sa 2, kasi kailangan by, load, by loading location yung pag-graph natin. Eh. 
So, huwag, huwag 2 meters, hindi nagbago, 18 pa din. So, ibig sabihin, uh, horizontal lang yung distance natin ito. Yung drawing natin. So, 18. Okay. So, tapos na natin yung segment AB. So, kay segment BC, sabi, pagdating ng 2, kailangan 4 siya. So, na nakay B tayo, from 18, kailangan maging 4 daw siya. So, ibig sabihin, bababa tayo ng papuntang 4. So, from 18, bababa tayo ng positive 4. So, yun yung positive 4. Okay? Then, from 5, since hindi nagbabago yung value niya, kahit magkaiba yung distance, so, ibig sabihin, uniform yung yan, yung drawing natin. Ito yung 4. Okay. So, tapos na tayo sa BC. Segment CD. So, sa CD, tingin tayo sa value ng share niya, pag 5, negative 24 daw. So, ibig sabihin, from 4, kailangan natin bumaba ng negative. Ito. So, negative 24. And again, pagdating ng 7, o ng value ng D, kailangan 24 pa din siya. Okay, 24 pa din. Lahat ng value, ng share and moment diagram natin, malalaman nyo kung tama. Dapat, babalik siya dun sa, uh, dun sa zero natin. So, since meron ditong reaction, itataas nyo yun dito. Okay, itataas nyo yun. Okay, kailangan magkaklose siya dito sa zero. So, nag-start ka ng zero dito, kailangan magklose siya ng zero. So, lagyan nyo lang ng, uh, for aesthetic purposes. <laughs> okay. So, yan yung shear diagram natin. Okay. So, para naman kay moment, so, gagawin natin, after ng shear is moment diagram. Okay. Moment. Okay. So, again, then, ginagawa natin, kailangan mag-assume ka ng value ng kada point. So, ito yung formula natin ng moment para sa segment AB. So, kung ang moment, hanapin natin yung moment at 0, ito yung at 0, 18 times 0 ay, moment natin ay 0. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung first point natin. 0. Okay? So, pagpunta kay B, 2 meters siya. Okay? So, 18 times 2 is 36. So, dapat dito kay B maging 36 siya. 36 yung value niya. Kilo newton meter yung ano nyo ito ha. Uh, force nito. So, kailangan linear yung uh, drawing natin. Which is correct dun sa uh, type ng equation natin. Kasi naka first degree siya. So, linear siya. Okay? Next, segment BC. So, pagdating dito. ba Nakalagyan nyo. Ganyo ay 4x plus 28. Okay? So, kung itatry natin kunin ulit yung value niya so, kapag nasa 2 siya. So, 4 times 2 plus 28. 36. So, same pa din yung location niya. Pag sa 2. Paano pagpunta sa 5? So, pagpunta sa 5, ang magiging value na niya ay 48. So, from 36, magiging naman daw siyang 48. So, ibig sabihin, wag i-increase ulit siyang ganun. Okay? So, yun yung kay BC. Then last ay kay CD. So, ito yung formula nung kay CD. So, negative. Negative 24. Uh, value ng X. Plus 168. So, kailangan check natin. Kapag nag 5 yung value. Nung X. Kasi di ba 5 yung start ng CD. So, pag 5 daw. Ang value niya 48 pa din. So, retain siya doon. So, dapat. Sabi ko nga, kailangan para malaman natin tama yung ginawa natin calculation at mag zero siya. So, dapat kapag nag-substitute ako ng value nyo, yung, yung 7, yung pinakadulo, dapat maging zero to. Zero. So, ibig sabihin, dito sa end, magka-close na siya dito. Okay? So, yan yung moment diagram natin. Okay? So, yan yung kung paano siya i-graph. Ito yung sagot para dun sa second question. Ano to? Kung paano yung moment diagram niya. Okay? So, this ends the first example.
So, yung next example will be on the next video. Thank you.